obviously it was a amazing weekend for our program really you know took a while to set in um a lot of emotions were were coming to me as i looked up in the stands and saw so many alumni there um i think the resounding message was you know this this team that we have this year it was was ranked you know was seated uh whatever and that wasn't them that was a previous team that had done that and really to do right by the alumni and to do right by all the people that have put a lot of work into this program to get it to this point um that they needed to prove their uh, ability themselves um so you know they they really kind of felt like they had a lot to prove and and um they certainly played like it uh you know they were focused all through the weekend there really was never any sort of dip in play they were energized focused um you know now do we play 100% as clean as we can play i don't think so i think we can keep improving and i think the cool thing about getting this tournament sort of out of the way now is that we have three you know in my mind major opportunities to kind of mimic the same thing so we go to spring break and we have 4 days in a row of very tough top 20 in the country teams and then a month later we have the UAA tournament which you know the UAA is four or five teams that are top 10 in the country and after that hopefully you know if we're fortunate and uh, blessed enough to have a chance at playing for an NCAA championship then you know that would be another thing in May so as you're sitting here looking at the mountain and and kind of staring up at you know we, we're not even halfway through um So we want to utilize this opportunity to to kind of, you know, know what know what it tastes like to to have that feeling but then really kind of keep hunting and hunting and hunting to get that feeling again. Um the only other thing I would say about the weekend is I'm just so happy for these these upper class men, especially the graduate seniors that came back, you know, Anthony Kanam and and John Powell um coming back and doing a grad year just basically because they never really had this uh you know they have had opportunities and they've come close but early in their career we were not in this position as a program um we were actually when John Powell was a freshman i mean we had we had lost a match to Kalamazoo in March of that year who was like 25 or 28 in the country i mean we were out of the top 25 for the first time in you know even like 5 or 6 years John has done such an incredible job as our captain and our leader of just kind of saying this is our direction this is our purpose and this is what we want to accomplish so for him to clinch the match and get the fifth point um you know that was such a special moment for him and and I'm just so happy and proud uh, of what he's been able to do here at Case it felt great to win the tournament um it really showed that all of our hard work uh paid off um i think it's important that we keep in mind that There's a lot of tennis to be left uh left to be played this season so we're just trying to stay clear-minded and not get too caught up in the moment um and yeah we're just trying to keep working hard every every day to finish up the season strong. We're very excited to go down to Florida get some matches in. Um I think we're just trying to keep keep us stride going, keep playing our games, keep improving every day. Uh I think we're most importantly just looking forward to getting out back on the court playing matches uh yeah just continuing the the streak that we have going. The preparation pretty much started yesterday. Uh we did some really heavy heavy cardio workouts. Um we got back onto the tennis court today uh and we've got we've got 6 days now to prepare for a really really tough Wesleyan team and we play Hampton Sydney that day also. But Wesleyan's a top 10 program in the country and um you know we know that they're going to be coming in firing all cylinders. Um you know obviously wanting to win that match. So It's outdoor tennis. Now we're moving outside for the first time and uh you know since the fall. Uh so we got to be ready for things to change, for the game to be a little different, it's going to be a little dirtier. Uh so we've been doing a lot of fitness. Um as always, I mean we always do, but uh we're ramping it up in the next few days. Uh really making sure we hit the bike and um and really get our legs ready to to kind of go go go. Um now now it's eight matches in four days that doesn't necessarily mean that each player is playing all of those matches. Uh our plan for the spring break trip is always to make sure that everybody on our roster gets a ton of match play. So, you know, whereas we might play one group of guys in the first match, we're going to play a different group of guys in the second match. Uh give everybody an awesome experience, a chance to kind of compete. And the good news is that they're competing against really tough teams. Um 
So, you know, for our younger guys and some of our freshmen, it's just a great opportunity for them to show that they can step into these positions when it's their time to do so.